okay the first question I have already done here this is cost plotting the first exercise there so I'm going to briefly explain how this question is supposed to be done if you look at the question it says a chart of a fishing vessel Ongo Ongo leaves Ika jetty on a bearing of 20 degrees and travels for 3 nautical miles okay here nautical miles refers to the distance that is measured in sea she then changes courses and cruises due west for two nautical miles. On her final leg, she travels northeast as the fish finds find her beeps after three nautical miles. She birds to fish. So you required to plot the course of the fishing vessel Ongo. Right. So first thing you have to know is that you are given a scale here. This scale is in nautical miles. Right, this scale is in nautical miles. So the relationship here is like this. When you have 10 cables, that is equal to 1 nautical miles. Right, so here, that's what I'm referring to. You can see on your scale, you have 10 equal divisions. So one division there is equal to one cable. Our true north is already given here. So this is the true north and this is the direction we have to take right so if you look at a compass we have north there we have south here we have west here we have east here right so first thing you're going to do you are going to take parallel to the tool north which is here transfer it on the jetty where you can see the small cross that is made there you transfer your tool north there right i have transferred it here as you can see you can draw the arrow right down its end now the first question here Ongo leaves Ika jetty on a bearing of 20 degrees and travels for 3 nautical miles right so what you will do here you are going to need your protector right so you have already transferred your true north here now you are going to put your protector you'll see there's a zero you have to ensure that zero is in line with that true north and you can also check the line at the bottom there's a small cross in the middle that should be placed on the cross that is already in the diagram there right zero should be in line with this line now once you have done that you measure 10 20 that's your 20 degrees so I'll put a point here then from this point you will join it across right so that's how you measure a bearing of 20 degrees now it travels for 3 nautical miles you are going to take distance from 0 1 2 3 nautical miles is this much you will put it on the cross and you mark it here that's 3 nautical miles right now it says so this is called our leg 1 leg 1 the angle there is 20 degrees and 3 nautical miles so you have to write down that one i have written leg 1 here 0 to 0 degrees and 3 nautical miles as you know when it's an angle of bearings that you measure from protector you have to use three digits so let's say if you have below 1999 or below then you have to use zero in front like 085 or 067 or 001 degrees right now that's our first leg leg refers to the path of the ship right so that is leg one now if it continues on this one that it will remain leg one but if it changes direction then it will become another leg so it says sea then changes course and cruises due west for two nautical miles if you look here west is going that side right that's our west so what we'll do here this is your true north west is 90 degrees so I'll slide my set square like that go that side that's due north right or due west for 2 nautical miles so I'll measure again 2 nautical miles from here put it there and mark right so that is my leg 2 you can draw the arrow here write down leg 2, 2 nautical miles and it's going west now 
On her final leg, she travels northeast as the fish find her beeps after three nautical miles. She birds to fish. Now, northeast is this one. That's not this is east, so northeast is this. This means the angle from the north is 45 degrees. Okay? So, what we are going to do? We'll again transfer our north at the end of the leg 2 which is here I transfer my north there right label it as n now there is two ways I can get 45 degrees either using a protector as I have used it before right that's my 45 degrees or it's simply if you want you can also can you see this is already 90 degrees so that's perpendicular to that vertical horizontal it forms angle of 90 so you can just draw one arc and bisect that and you're going to get an angle of 45 degrees so whichever method you find it is you can do it now three nautical miles again so once you have found your 45 degree angle you extend that line you measure 0 to 3 you put it here and mark use your compass right 0 to 3 put it here and mark so that is my leg 3 I label this as leg 3 distance is 3 nautical miles and it's going northeast or if you want you can write down 0 for 5 degrees also because northeast is same as 0 for 5 degrees right so it says see birds to fish this means at the end you have to draw anchor symbol you can draw one line with the arrow and like something like that that's how you draw anchor symbol so that is the end of that question. Right, the first question we are looking was very simple. It was just angles and bearings. Now the second question that is given on the other part of this exercise. It says a chart of a cruise, uh, cruise ship, Fiona. Fiona leaves Bonivolo jetty by taking clearance course to the rock by 0 0.8 nautical miles. Right, it says 0 0.8 nautical miles to port side and cruises for 3.5 nautical miles. She then changes course and sails due north for 3 nautical miles. On a final leg, she clears the wreck by 5 cables to starboard side and anchors after traveling for 5 nautical miles for a snorkeling session. So you are required to plot the course of Fiona. Right, so there is two new terms that you are going to learn here. The first one is clearance course. Right, so when it says clearance course, you will be given a distance. That distance represents the radius. For example, it says it takes a clearance course to the rock by 0 0.8 nautical miles. So 0 0.8 nautical miles represents the radius of a circle. So whenever you see the word clearance course, this no you should know that you are going to make a circle of the given dimension that is given there right so clearance goes to the rock so th at the rock you're going to make a circle of 0 0.8 nautical miles radius 0 0.8 nautical miles is same as eight cables now another thing that you're going to see here is port side and starboard right so port side and starboard port side refers to the left hand side of the ship and starboard refers to the right hand side of the ship right so when it says it takes a clearance course to the rock to port side this means your left hand side should be touching the circle that you have drawn and when it says starboard side then your right hand side should be touching the circle so i have drawn two possibilities here right now when i sh when my ship goes up here this way this means this part of the ship will be touching the circle here like this that's how it sh should be going right so that part of the ship will be touching the circle so that means uh, this is starboard now if my ship goes this way this means this part of the ship will be touching the circle when I reach here like this so that part of the ship is touching that is our left hand side so this one is both side so that's how you decide right 
starboard if the ship goes this way this means your right hand should be touching the shackle port side the ship will go that side this means your left hand should be touching the shackle remember the ship cannot enter inside the shackle it has to touch the shackle and go so here you are going to use your concepts of tangents from one point to a shackle a simple concept that you have learnt in year 11 so first you're going to join it like this you bisect from there you draw a semicircle either up or down depending on where the ship is going and where that semicircle intersects with the circle there from there you just join and that is your clearance path right so let's solve the question now it says oh you had already given a scale here one zero can you see the first part is not divided into ten equal parts in this question it was already divided so here we have to do that ourselves because in order to measure zero point eight nautical miles or five cables we need these small divisions this is one nautical miles when you divide into ten parts that becomes ten cables so one small division represents there one cable from zero you're going to take a line out mark 10 equal divisions on that line the last one right so the last division you're going to join it to one here and then you're going to take all the other parallel divisions like that right right once you have taken all the divisions parallel like this then you're going to draw the horizontal lines here like this you can make those lines dark right so that's my divisions for the cables the first leg here it says clearance goes to the rock by 0 0.8 nautical miles to port side so I'm going to take from here till 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 division I'm going to put it on the rock and draw one circle now it says it clears to port side and cruises for three nautical miles right so the ship is going this way that's my left hand side so that's the port side this means the ship should be touching the rock on this side then only it's going to clear up it's then only it's going to clear the port side right if it touches on top then it's going to clear the starboard so that this means the ship is going to go downwards like this so you can use your concept from the tangents one point to a circle join this one to the starting point of the jetty there bisect right so once you find the midpoint from there we are going to draw one semicircle or arc will even do and you'll get an intersection on that circle mark a point from that intersection to the starting of that cross here the intersection we are going to join so that's how the shape is going right and it says 3.5 nautical miles so if I look here that's 1 2 and 3 so first I'll take 3 from there then another 0.5 this means I have to take the small ones 1 2 3 4 5 that's the mid one so I'll take that much from where I measure 3 I'll mark it here so that's 3.5 right then you can make this much dark 
draw the arrow you can write down leg one three point five nautical miles See then changes course and sails do not for three nautical miles and on her final leg she clears the wreck by five cables right so from here she's going to go due north for three nautical miles the north is already here you can take parallel to that one where your ship finishes end of leg one from there you draw a line on that you're going to measure three nautical miles that's one, two, and three. Three blocks, three nautical miles, and you mark it here. Right, you can make that much dark. Write down leg one. Three nautical miles, and it's going not right now the last part of the question on our final leg she clears the wreck by five cables to starboard side and anchors after traveling for five nautical miles for a snorkeling session right so again we have to use the same concept by says clears by five cables this means we have to take five divisions from that first box put it here and draw a circle right so when we make that circle now from here I'll join it to the center of that circle now the ship is going this way if I stand on the ship that will be my right this will be my left so starboard will be here this means the ship has to go downwards right so you can use the same concept that we have done it here from here take an distance more than half bisect that line From here, draw a semicircle or part of an arc. I'm getting the intersection here. From there to that point, you try to join a line. Now, this ship is going for five, or this leg in this leg, the ship is going for five nautical miles, right? So, first of all, I'll take three here because I cannot directly measure five from here I'll measure three first then I'll take another two blocks from there so that is my five this is my final leg of the ship make it dark label it as leg three and the distance is 5 nautical miles she anchors after traveling for 5 nautical miles right? so at the end of the leg 3 you're going to put an anchor right you can label this as your anchor Okay, the title of that worksheet is cost plotting and that is the end of the exercise.